Hello YouTube, welcome back to the Twisted Rods Gaming YouTube channel and another episode of My Garage. And I guess a fella could say, since he's getting uh, the shop a little bit of a makeover, he acquired a uh, familiar piece of property that you may remember from a previous episode. So we're going to be basing our operations out of this little house until the shop is ready to rock and roll. Um, so we're going to be working on customers' cars, some of my own cars, and I stumbled across the junkyard in the middle of the woods. But I will be explaining a little bit more of that as we go through the episode. So let's get into it. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, and I hope you all had a good holiday weekend for those of you who do celebrate uh, Independence Day. Um, for those of you who do not, I uh, hope you had a good weekend in general. Um, before we get into things here, I need you guys to do something for me. It'll mean a lot to me. Smash that like button if you guys want to see uh, some kind of Chevy or, or Chevy engine in the game. That would mean a lot to me if you guys want to see that because i i definitely want chevy in the game nothing against mopars but we need to change it up a little bit there are a few updates uh things that we'll be checking in the next couple of episodes um and i will be needing your guys's help so to start off leave a comment down below um i need a new car to drive around because I uh, I've absolutely destroyed this one and it's too small and doesn't have enough power for what I need to do so I have two chargers here because that's the largest vehicle in the game at this time um, the purple one or the green one leave a comment down below that will be my new uh, uh, go in the town rig so um, you're probably wondering where uh, all these cars came from um, and, and there's actually more than this. I, I hauled them all up here. It, it's part of the reason why it's been so long since I've uh, brought up uh, an episode. Um, when I was reviving this car, uh, when it broke down in the woods in my last episode, uh, it was actually quicker and safer for me to run through the woods with a tool or a part um, than it was to actually drive anything. Because driving this game can be very hazardous. Um and every time I would save the game or walk through or leave because I was extremely busy that weekend, uh, a new car would appear. So I would uh, open the menu and it would say claim for free. So I would claim it. And then whenever I would come back through again, well, there'd be a car sitting on top of it. So I had to start shoving them out of the way. I found, oh, goodness, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like ten cars out there. So we have plenty to do here. Um, update on this one. Uh, at the end of my last episode, uh, I actually blew up the engine again. Uh, after the gas station, the car did not start again. I had to put a whole new motor in it all over again. Uh, the reason why, uh, and this is actually contradictory to real life to a point, but running the cars in this game without an air filter uh, just self-destructs them in such a short amount of time. Um, now in real life, you can drive a car without an air filter on it. Can you go thousands of miles without an air filter? No. You, I mean, you'll suck up dirt and shorten the life of it, but not, not that damn quick. But so in today's episode, we're actually not touching any of these. That's is extremely weird. Um, we're not messing with any of these yet. Um, I don't know how, why, but every time I save the game and come back, these are still here. I, I thought these usually disappear, but they're not. Um, all these parts are to fix my old junkyard runner, um, so we can put that back together in an upcoming episode. Um, yeah, this is everything now. I got tire machine, tire pump, jack. I even brought the lift out here. Um, I have some stuff that I can't get out of the catalog, like brake fluid, batteries, um, coolant. You know, I have a jug of oil somewhere. Where did I put that? Oh, there it all is. Um... I'll stock that later on my own, but uh, without further ado, let's see if we can actually maintain uh, jobs here at the house. Um, the only reason why this is out here is because it, it will not fit in here anywhere, and uh, um, you can't uh, go upstairs yet, which is a little funky, but you know what? It's fine. You know, we can, uh, we can work with uh, a, a half-invisible house. You know, it's kind of funny. The wallpaper and the water kind of look the same. Not going to lie. So let's see what we have to do here. Something is wrong with handling. That's a little bit big of a job for what I want to start with. Battery wires are bad. Yeah, we can do that. Um, because I absolutely feel like torturing my game, uh, I think I have probably 30 cars in here somewhere. 
one way or another. Um, yeah, we're just going to fix it out here right now. Besides, uh, at the old shop, I fixed everything outside anyway, but I think we will be uh, mending that here soon. Um, I'm sure some of you have watched uh, this game on other people's channels, so um, you already know what I've done. Um, I've done the expansion on the shop, but uh, in contrary to real life, uh, that wouldn't exactly just happen overnight. So, I've decided to challenge myself, and oh, believe me, it was a challenge uh, moving all of this stuff up here. So, uh, if and, uh, well, I mean, obviously the shop's ready. You just go the blue poster on the wall, click it, and it's ready to go. So, I mean, it's ready now. I just felt like challenging myself uh, just a little bit. No cha-ching. Oh, that's right. It doesn't let you do it until the job's done. Um, oh, that's right. I have to go to the catalog. So yeah, there's going to be quite a bit of running around to uh, get stuff done in this game. Now, um, I think they changed something with the parts a little bit. Well, I actually know they did, uh, which we will be touching in a later episode. I know I'm going to be saying that a lot because I haven't been uploading that often. I've been missing uh, a lot of things. So, one for that, I am sorry. Two, don't worry, we will be getting caught up on everything in no time. Yeah, things kind of like to sink through the f bend down. Things kind of like to sink through the floor here, because um, the house isn't exactly uh, fully set up. There we go. Oh, that did something weird. Why don't you just mount down to the fender here? Um. No, nope. oh, Titan. There we go. I keep forgetting that we have to uh, t uh, switch it now. Um. See, whenever you play uh, one game for a while and then you switch back to another one, um, I don't want to say muscle memory, but just uh, kind of control memory uh, goes away just a little bit. Because I've been uh, kind of binge playing Mon Bazoo also with the uh, recent update they have. And I will not be putting out a video on that because of um, the subject matter, I guess you could say. See, I'm kind of just based around cars and in car things not necessarily a <clears throat> agriculture if you know what i mean so all right complete all right bye-bye all right let's see the next one you know what i will challenge myself a little bit change body panel yeah i can um yeah yeah yeah, yeah i can do that um there's a bug with one of the jobs in this game um there are a handful of things uh, that you can't do. It's repainting the whole car or doing a uh, color match on it. For whatever reason, um, you cannot uh, um, complete the job. I don't know how. I don't know why. But really, is this it? Well, it's not much of a challenge. Well, here, let me set this down. Um, if you feel like this is a lot of running around um, at my job in real life... Uh, um, I actually have to walk a distance of that shop to that purple car to get from one part of the shop to the other because uh, we work in two separate buildings. I um, need a color match on this. Oh, my short-term memory is going to hurt me. 14-14. Uh, Oof. Okay, $20 for a can of paint that I'm only going to use once. How about that? Uh, oh, yeah, look at that. Uh, this is a, a skill I actually wish I had in real life. I, I wish I could paint. I mean, I can, I can paint because uh, I build uh, model cars as well. Uh, but what I mean by painting is, is a, uh, you know, life-size cars in real life. You know, one-to-one -one scale uh, models. Let's see, is that okay? I think I'm good. Um, now you see, this game is about. 90% perfect. You know, there's a few things, and I know it's still early access, so it's nothing personal against the game, but like in Monbazu, I wish it showed you a percentage of what you had left in that can. Because if this has 2% in it, I I don't want to waste shelf space with it. Um, let's see here. I believe that was the only panel that need painted on the car. Yep, that was it. Okay, let's hammer out the next one. Um, I actually just really goobered because this is a spark plug job. And, well, you know, I don't have spark plugs. And I don't think I can get them. Actually, wait. Um, 
You guys wait half a second. I'm going to see if I can order some. Okay, folks. So, guess what? Uh, I can't get spark plugs out of the magazine. I don't have any here. But with one of the updates, uh, I think they come in a pack of four, which this is a four-cylinder. So, we're going to take a little bit of a field trip. Uh, which car should I take? So right about now, you're probably wondering why in the hell would I take this turd? Well, honestly, it's the only car I'm not afraid of crashing because I don't think I can crash it anymore. The only two, like, usable parts on this car, I think, are the, the doors and the mirrors. Um, you know, collectively, uh, the frame and suspension is fun. Well, not, like, the frame, per se, but, like, the... Uh, you know, the, the, uh, um, wow, I am having such a brain fart right now. The, uh, suspension and, and whatnot, I think, is fine in, in the engine. Which, uh, oh no. Oh god. Stop. 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 This is how I hit the guardrail every time. Okay. Um, to my engine. Oh no. What the hell did I just. Oh, are you kidding? <laughs> Oh, God. Only me. <sighs> well, folks, it looks like I'm walking to get some spark plugs. I, oh, God. Um, so, um, yeah, this is uh, what I had to do to um, get the other uh, car back. I'm pretty sure I fried the clutch in, uh, in, the, in the junkyard rescue car, but that's fine. We can... We can manage without, without that. Uh, this is gonna take about ten minutes. So, um, well, if anything bad happens, I'll definitely let you know. But uh, I'll see you guys back at the uh, house with the uh, new spark plugs and two cars with uh, full tanks of gas. Okay, so I finally made it back. Um, thankfully, this thing was just out of gas. It can't exactly say I tried to test fire it, but, um, well, wow, all this just for, uh, one spark plug job. <laughs> you couldn't get a damn thing done in real life if this is how you really did things. Okay, so yeah, that was, I really wish for the love of God you could jump in this stupid game! Oh, come on, Viking. Don't add another thing to this game. Give me the ability to jump. I don't want to parkour like Mon Bazoo, but for the love of God, I, I can do this in real life. I can't, like... And I know you're trying not to be like everyone else. You don't want to have, like, a, a click to get in the seat thing. You know, this is more like, you know, My Summer Car, where you can just, you know, hop in the car and, and go. I'm about to... Okay, yep. We're going to drive from the passenger seat. Okay, I guess we're just going to sit in the passenger seat. Oh, come on. You know what? Here. Uh, we're not going to accomplish anything. Wait. I'm moving the whole... Okay. All right. You know how we fix this where I'm from? Yeah, that's how we fix that. Okay, this is not what I want to do this episode. There's more important things I want to do. I'm just trying to prove we can feasibly run a shop from our home. And all you're doing is making me look like a dumbass. Okay. For okay, really game. I am pushing forward and I can't walk forward because of the collision mesh with the roads in the game. I don't mean to be naggy this episode. <sighs> okay. Okay. For any of those of you who know German, Das Ficht. Okay, now after all that, back to our regular schedule programming. And bam, the world's most expensive set of spark plugs at $44. So I basically just ran all the way in the town for nothing because they were in the magazine in the wrong section. <sighs> uh, 
Okay, well, I need to, first of all, disconnect these spark plug wires. Um, uh, leave a comment down below. Has anyone ever been uh, shocked by uh, uh, a discharge from an ignition coil before? Doesn't feel good, does it? <laughs> Who knew? No, that that hurts like a son of a gun. Um, I was helping a, a friend work on his truck, and... Uh, Yep, that's bad. Um, I was helping a friend work on his truck, and we were trying to get the timing figured out. And I was a kid. I wasn't using a timing light or, you know, any proper way to set timing on an engine. Well, uh, uh, for those of you who... That's just... Yeah, we did need that anyway. Uh, for those of you who don't know how to set timing on a real-life car, or at least an older one, you have to take this thing... And you have to rotate it one way or the other with a timing light, you know, aimed at the uh, at the crank. Well, I was doing it by ear because he said it was running rough anyway. And, uh, well, whenever... Stand up. Stand up. That's the wrong direction, sir. Um, and whenever I turned this, <clears throat> you see there's... I'm actually touching the screen with my finger. Um, inside of here, um, there's a sensor... And every time it hits a certain trigger point, it sets off a spark from the ignition coil. Well, what happened was, my friend left the ignition on in the car. So whenever I turned that, even though the engine wasn't running, I triggered that. And I had uh, the spark plug wires off. or No, I don't remember if it just had bad plug wires on it or what. But I had my knee on the metal bumper of the truck and my hand on the distributor. And it shocked the ever-living hell out of me. Yeah, I had a, a few choice words for my friend, which he usually had a habit of getting me hurt one way or another. But, uh, yeah, note to self. If you're going to, you know, ever do anything with a distributor, one, make sure you're not grounded. Two, uh, make sure the ignition system is off when you're making your adjustments unless uh, um, you're actually setting timing on it while it's running, um, which I... I, I know I do this for a living, but for the life of me, I cannot stand to touch a distributor while it's running. I have been bit so many times, it's not even funny, and I'll see a, you know, a co-worker or a friend, you know, they'll just grab the spark plug wires, you know, on top of the distributor, and they'll just give that thing a crank while it's running. They don't get bit, you know, they don't get, you know, hurt or nothing. And I'm like, why is it my luck? Every time I touch that damn thing, I get zapped. <clears throat> but, um, no, that's just, uh, my, well, I mean, you guys have seen my luck. I, I mean, look at all the crap I went through just to get a set of spark plugs. Close. Uh, just to find out I could just grab the damn tool. Um, I don't mean to be so temperamental. It's just these little naggy things just really drive me up a wall. You know what? You need to leave is what you need to do. There, complete. Um, what the hell was that? Oh, it was the old spark plug box. That's what that was. Um, I guess I need to be careful. Things have a habit of falling through the ground here. Um, it's probably not a an overly developed part of the uh, the map. Car is not moving. That's a clutch. I don't feel like doing that. Um, no, speedometer not working. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. <clears throat> Okay, so I'm actually going to pull this one into the garage to work on it. Um, so, um, I don't know why I'm uh, being so uh, tech talky in this one, but uh, generally in real life, whenever you have a, uh, a non-functioning speedometer issue, it could actually be a number of things. Um, and I'm just going to give the diagnosis for older cars because, um, you know, that's what we are uh, working with. Don't hit nothing or I'm going to have to pay for it. Um, all right, off. Parking brake. Um, in real life, it could be a, a number of things. Oh, I need to get out. Um, the uh, speedometer itself. I mean, you don't have to replace the entire cluster. But the speedometer itself in these old cars is driven by uh, a mechanical cable. Imagine, if you will, uh, like a bicycle cable. Um, I, I know that's kind of a lever action pulling, scratch that, but it is a cable that runs through a, uh, a tube like that and both ends are square 
And on one end, there's a gear in the transmission that is set up to spin said cable. And whenever that cable spins, um, it goes to... Uh, okay, good, I didn't open the trunk lid. Um, that cable that spins, spins a magnet... Um, almost kind of like a, a torque converter, like putting a fan against another fan. The magnet spins another magnet that is what moves your needle and odometer. But again, that's just, you know, for your older cars. And there may be uh, other methods of that working um, in other cars that I don't know about. But the, the cable-driven ones are the ones I'm most familiar with. Uh, and on your modern cars, um, it's all electronic. Um, which on your... Uh, on your modern cars is all digital now. It uses uh, sensors and whatnot. $213. Wow. They have really jacked up the prices in this game. Um, which, uh, that's another reason why I want to build one of those two chargers over there for my uh, go-in-the-town rig. I want a car I'm not afraid to beat up. Um, I basically want to be able to... Uh, what? Um... What? Okay, I didn't mean to start it, but since when did they add a horn button in this game? Okay, well, I think that concludes uh, the repair for this car. Um, but yeah, that's why I need to go on the town rig is because uh, I want something that I'm not afraid to beat up that I can take in the town and pick up um, a large uh, a large sum of items at one time. Um. Because, you know, as you know, I have a bunch of junk out at the junkyard, which I honestly just need to get rid of. Because I'm now I'm sure being as far away as we are, it's not affecting my frame rate. I need to take this stuff down to the. Uh, um, the, the pawn shop down there. Sorry if my ADD is kicking in real hard. I'm bouncing all over the place today. Um, let's see here. I think we have time for another job or two. Uh, something is wrong with handling. Okay. I'm not trying to cheat and skip these over, but this is a, a sizable job, and, and that alone could be uh, an episode on its own. It seems to sit uneven. There we go. That's that's doable. I can do that in, in the amount of time we have left. <clears throat> okay. All right. Yeah, you can see the springs are blown out of this puppy. This is a beautiful red interior. Um, I probably wouldn't. Are you kidding me? The one time my guy jumps, I hop in the damn passenger seat. <sighs> Viking, Viking, Viking. Okay, give me the ability to jump. Then I I would like a Chevy in the game. <laughs> Close, please. Thank you. All right. <clears throat> okay. Uh, we have any convertible fans out there? Uh, people that own one, like to drive them, want to own one. Um, I've driven a, a few convertibles, you know, in my uh, in my automotive career. Oh no, are you kidding me? <laughs> oh no, I can't. I can't get the car on a concrete pad. Oh no. Well, folks, there may be a fatal flaw in my uh, in my plan here to. Uh, work from home I can't wait okay there we go there we go okay I got it figured out oh, I hate it when I do this in real life too what is oh it's a shadow freaking out in there okay um sorry if I'm uh, if I have these moments of not being talkative um, usually when I get to rambling on, um, I'm just on a bit of a tangent, uh, and times I'm not talking, uh, I'm actually not a very, uh, outspoken individual. Uh, I'm really good at, like, having a conversation, you know, face-to-face -face with someone, um, but just talking by myself in an empty house by myself with no one in front of me, it's, it's actually kind of hard to do, you know, I'm still... Uh, fairly new at this. Um, actually, believe it or not, uh, um, this being, uh, well, I'm actually filming on 
uh, July 2nd uh, is when I'm actually filming this. Um, this actually marks the seventh month of my YouTube channel, uh, which is really cool. So, again, I'm not supposed to do that. Um, so, again, thank you guys very much for helping my uh, channel grow to uh, what it currently is and hopefully what it can or will be. Um, and, again, this is a channel for you guys. Uh, myself and anyone else can, um, oh, stop, come on, uh, myself and anyone else can, can play video games, you know, that's, you know, anybody's thing, but to actually be able to share it with you guys, and I'm not just sharing the experience of the video game, I'm sharing my, my two cents on it, and not just the game, but the whole premise of my channel is to check that corner that no one else looked in that I've seen in so many other people's channels there's um things that are left unexplored and questions unanswered and I want to be that guy that finds those answers you know that um that finds the things that other people missed so anyway let's get this puppy wrapped up here um Okay, yep, we have a bad spring, bad spring, shock looks okay, shock looks okay, um, I'm pretty sure that spring is bad, I think this is the only good spring in the entire car, so yeah, let me pop them puppies out of there, and see here, okay, yeah, good, I did remember to bring this tool, um, I think probably one of the scariest things I've ever had to mess with uh, working on cars is messing with damn springs because they're um, so unpredictable. And uh, I don't sound I mean to sound inexperienced, but I am just a very cautious individual. There's just certain things I absolutely do not like messing with, and that is springs, lifting heavy things, uh, and heights. And I'm sure there's more, but uh, like I said, springs. All it takes is one little mistake, looking away, and one accident, and bam, you're missing teeth. You know, thankfully I've never had that happen, but like I said, I'm I'm extremely cautious. I need one rear spring and two front springs. Um, so yeah, anyway, I, I usually err on, on the side of, uh, of caution. Like, one of the scariest ones to mess with are uh, 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 early generation Mustangs. Them things are a nightmare to mess with, especially if you don't have the uh, the right tool for it. They're an absolute nightmare. And uh, if you're going with some kind of coilover kit that makes it a little bit better, you can just take a torch to them, cut them out, and just, you know, uh, forget about them. I, I missed. Um, I haven't done any of those on a Mustang type, but I have done a handful of QA1 suspension kits on a few General Motors cars. And I tell you what, that stuff is uh, is an absolute dream to uh to mess with all right good job well done um let's see here you know what i think i'm gonna squeeze in just one more for you guys and uh and that's gonna be it for this episode i probably said that for the last car but um i really want to prove the worth of uh of working at this little house here um even though it's been an absolute nightmare but again it, it's kind of a whole new learning curve for me it's it's almost like a whole new game and this is just one of many episodes I, I want to do up here. And I can I can even actually do uh, episodes at the shop when it's ready. And I can do them up here as well. Because uh, I like challenging myself. See a new job. Something wrong with shifting. <sighs> oh, what the hell? Why not? What's awfully funny is, and uh, I don't want to jinx it, but I haven't had the issue yet of a customer not showing up ever since I... Oh, come on. I did it again. Um, I haven't had an issue where the customer doesn't show up yet. Ever since I, uh, I came out here to the house. See, I can't just walk into the car. I have to jump into the car. Okay, good. Okay, so we have one little transmission job here. Which, I mean, if you really think about it, it's kind of the same. It's just a different space. But other than that, you know, it's actually kind of peaceful out here. You don't have the traffic and the honking and, you know, the, the AI cars getting all jammed up. And, you know, it actually kind of makes the sound of the rustling trees, you know, kind of more accurate to the spot that you're in. 
because, you know, nothing is more awesome than, you know, working on a car and then, bam, just going in-house, taking a shower and, and going to bed, you know, kind of, kind of evening. Let me get this thing plucked. Okay, so we got it off the ground a little bit. We have to take out all these top bell housing bolts. Uh, I do not need to pull the starter off of this one. On the, the V8s you do because the starter mounts to the uh, transmission. Okay, there we go. Boom, boom. Crap, it's all nasty. I can't. There we go. Isn't there one more up here? I don't know. I guess not. All right, now it's time to go under. Let's see here. You know, uh, if any of you remember the comment I made in a previous video, um, actually, I'm not sure if I cut it out or left it in, but um, I've done a few uh, engine swaps and uh, transmission swaps on uh, uh, on a G body uh, General Motors. So if you don't know what that is, that's basically uh, like Buick Regal, uh, Old Cutlass, uh, Monte Carlo, you know, that body style car. And the bolt like up here like right here in this corner i mean this is like a dream I, I, I wish there was this much room in there but there's a lip right here that comes out and it is a royal pain to get a bolt in there and nothing make me happier than to just take a ball peen hammer and flatten that damn thing all right so we'll pop you in here see it's about 4.30 anyway. It's about time to start wrapping up for the day. Um, once I do get the new shop rocking and rolling, which, again, it's done right now. I can just move my stuff back and, and be done with it, but nope, I have to do things differently. Um, but when I do move back in, um, there's a new series I'm going to be starting with this game. Obviously, it's going to be this game. It's going to be working on cars. But I think you guys will like it. So here, let me drop this down. What in the hell? Come on. Um, I tell you, if you guys really want to know what pisses me off more than anything, it's knocking my head on the uh, the lift posts. Or not the posts, but the feet that hold up the car. Oh, that irks me so bad. Especially when I'm frustrated over something and I'm wrestling around with something. And I'm just focus super focused on what I'm trying to do and then I clunk my head on something oh I get so mad all right see job is done so guys I think that is gonna wrap it up for this episode um if you have not already please leave a comment down below like and subscribe let me know which charger here should I use for my new go in the town rig which is uh, actually gonna be the subject of our next episode because there's an entire uh, continent over there that we can explore, and I don't have anything big enough or reliable enough to take me over there. So that will definitely be in the next episode, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.